Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I'm going to be discussing about moolah, money, dinero. <laughs> All right, so does it matter if she makes more money than him? Stay tuned. Thank you so much for coming back, family. So, in order to help me keep these videos free and me giving you guys this advice, the tips and tools in order to help to decrease this divorce rate, I have three online courses you guys can help support my movement there by going ahead and purchase one of my online courses or two, three, depending on what you want to do, okay? Uh, <laughs> so, the first one is for my super single people who just need some guidance, some direction, and working on themselves to figure out exactly what you need for yourself, what you desire from yourself and from the relationship, and then just what you actually need to take in from all of that. That is actually going to give you like the roadmap to you, as well as what you should be looking for when you start to get in stage number two, which is the dating stages. I also have a second course, which is the dating stages course for any of you guys who need help navigating through the dating stages to understand exactly what you should be expecting what to actually look for and stick to while you are in the dating stages so you too can actually get the man of your dreams all right and then so you can actually create the relationship that you want as well and then you're moving on into the third stage which is the long term or marriage stage you need to bring some spice back into your relationship you are tired of the mundaneness of your relationship and you want to laugh more with your partner you want to just break break up uh the mundaneness of it maybe you need to bring more respect back to yourself and also to your partner and just get things back on uh, the page where they want to work before the happier times, the freer, freer times in your relationship. So definitely go ahead and check out one of those courses or two. And I have to mention that the super single course is actually for everybody because a lot of people didn't take the time to understand who they were before they got into the dating stage or a relationship. So even if you are dating, you can take the super single course to work on yourself while you are still dating or even in a marriage or long-term relationship, you also can take that course as well. So I wanted to make sure that I can point that out because all of us need some pointers on working on ourselves because if you work on yourself first, you will absolutely get a better result in the relationship because you'll know exactly how to handle yourself and how to handle um, certain situations when they arise because conflict is absolutely going to arise. Misunderstandings are absolutely going to arise. And I am just giving you a, a, a broad picture, but a well-rounded broad picture on each stage. So definitely go ahead and check out the courses. Now, does it still matter or does it even matter that the woman makes more money than the man. Now, some statistics for you. 42% of mothers are sole or primary breadwinners of their families and nearly 40% of wives out earn their husbands. And studies show this definitely has an impact on relationships. The very first area that I found it to impact, which is no surprise, is actually the sexual side of things. It is a bedroom killer for a lot of men still because when they get into the bedroom, if the woman makes more money than them, they usually find it kind of hard to actually be the man in the bedroom. And what I mean by that is because they're in their heads. They're thinking that that they, that they cannot and will not be the traditional roles in the bedroom or um, um, their sexual fantasies won't be met in the bedroom because she is the dominant or quote unquote more powerful one because she brings home the bacon. I had to let that sink in. Because she brings home the bacon, he is in his head about her when it comes time for sex. He's thinking about himself really. Is he able to fulfill his sexual fantasy? Is he able to be the man specifically in the role of having sex with his lady? So it's taking a toll on the man thinking about that. The second thing that I found is that men feel emasculated um, when the woman is making more money and they also feel like they are losing out on the competition 
Yes, men feel like it is a competition when the woman is making more money and they feel like they're losing at this competition that they have in their heads, basically, because it's not something that they talk about like open, like out openly, like we're in a competition. I need to make more money than you. But because of the roles that genders usually play or the stereotypical roles, I should say, that women and men play. He feels like he's losing because men like to win. I haven't said that in a while, but men like to win. So if he's not winning at making the most money in the household, he feels like he's losing. So it's definitely taking a toll on his psyche because she's making more money. Now, I have to make, put in a disclaimer because I didn't say this. Is this every man? Of course not. I am going to read to you guys some, some stories about some men who are in relationships with women that make more money than them, but not yet. Okay, stay tuned for that. So the third thing that I want to point out is that it's actually affecting women too. So I found this one and I actually just wanted to read it to you because it really stood out for me. The same women may want to be a big breadwinner and may want a high powered job, but they may also feel conflicted that being the provider is on her now. She may feel conflicted about having less time being the primary caretaker for the kids. She may also feel some type of way about being able to about not being able to lean on her husband for financial security so it's also taking a tip um, take, I'm taking a tip it's also taking a toll on the women as well even though she wants the money she wants to not necessarily be the breadwinner but she wants the money too but she's feeling you know like I want to be there with my kids too though and so she's conflicted like which one should I do and so actually the article that I got this from which I think is a great suggestion is just to talk to your spouse and to you know find out what is like super important for you as the woman like do you need to be at every doctor's appointment or can you scale it back to some do you want to be at the like the school functions like the school programs that they have or you know just things like that Find out what's really important for you so you can be at least some of those things, maybe not all of those things, as the woman. So I definitely feel them on that, um, you know, because I have a little girl myself and I actually feel bad about taking her to the daycare. That's just me though, okay? Now I'm going to read some of the interviews that they had with the men that are actually making less money than their woman. And then I'll give you some tips on these gender role changes or the changes that we are going through as a society and how the roles are changing because it's actually no surprise because more women are actually getting more degrees than men these days all right so the very first one that i'm going to read is um, his name is adam musa from Washington, my wife earns about twice as much as I do, and I don't mind because our finances are merged. What's hers is mine, is hers. <laughs> she's the she's an adjudicator for the Social Security Administration, and I'm a claims associate for an insurance company, helping clients and lawyers get the information they need to process their claims. It helps that I'm a realistically aesthetic person. I'm not big on toys like watches and cars, so I don't have that overwhelming masculine urge to earn lots of money. It might have bothered me a little bit earlier in our marriage, though. We've been married 15 years, and a couple of times I left my jobs I love for ones that paid more money. In my defense, <laughs> this was during the 2008 financial crisis when we had two kids to care for and my wife and I both lost our jobs, then our home, and then had to file for bankruptcy. I stayed at home with the kids for two years after that while my wife worked and went back to work myself in 2010. There are some derogatory, I'm um, sorry, there were some derogatory remarks for sure. I have this neighbor, a self-subscribed redneck, <laughs> who's very set in his old school masculinity ways. And he'd say, are you going <laughs> to, this is not funny. <laughs> the neighbor, his old rude self would say, are you going to have the dinner waiting for her too? Like, is it any of your damn business? <laughs> Okay, that's not funny, but it kind of is. <laughs> People always got a dang on, dang on opinion. Anywho, so getting back to the man. 
My stepfather was similar in his attitudes. He was racist and sexist, just a real douchebag, fr frankly. So I spent a large portion of my life actively trying not to be like him. I've never had a traditionally male outlook on life. I'm six foot four and can't play basketball to save my life. My hobbies are reading, cooking, and video games. I host a pub quiz every Saturday, Saturday night. I guess you call me a geek or a nerd. My brother is a U.S. military veteran and one of the most traditionally masculine men I've ever met. Meanwhile, he supports our arrangement. Honestly, it's a huge relief that my wife earns more than me. I do a job I enjoy, and I don't have to look for the bigger, better, riskier, higher paying job. If anything, I occasionally brag to my buddies, hey, I got a sugar mama. <laughs> so I actually like what he had to say here. You know, he was just being honest. Like, it probably did bother me earlier in our marriage, but now we've been married 15 years. He's basically settled in. He does have a job that he loves, but in the end, his wife makes more. It works for their arrangement, so that is just fine. The next one that I'm going to read to you is from Dave Peters. He is from Detroit. My wife has always earned more money than me, and for a while, it absolutely killed our sex life. Dead, which is what I said before. I'm a trial lawyer now, but from 2006 to 2016, I didn't make a dime. I went back to school to get my master's and PhD and tried to break Oh, and, and, and try to break into academia. You're not the man when you're not working. You're a sponge, and that destroys our sex life. Before I went back to school, we were having sex two to three times a week. After a couple years in school, it was down to the obligatory two times a month. By 2015, it was zero. She made $180,000 and used her income as a means of control. No, 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 don't do that, ladies. That, no, 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 don't do that. Even gentlemen, if you don't do that, that that's not sexy. She chose where we went on vacation, where we went to dinner, when we had sex. Whoever had the gold makes the rules. That's the golden rule. That That's a horrible golden rule. But anyway, she'd the wife. She'd make snide remarks about me not earning any money. The kids would ask her for money and when she said no they respond fine I'll ask dad and she would snort yeah sure. The low point was in 2015 I was so upset because I couldn't get a job in academics and she was up upset about being the sole breadwinner. We were very close to getting a divorce. I studied female attraction and realized my wife couldn't be attracted to me if I made no money. So I went back to practice in law and the dynamic improved. But I still wouldn't recommend having your wife earn more than you. It al It's always hanging over you that you aren't the dominant one in the relationship. She's the one with the power. Um, I hear what he's saying. I'm not going to discredit or, you know, make it look bad. I will just say that you see that there is difference in, um, what men think about it. some men are okay and others are not and in this case he is not okay even though they're still married she's still the breadwinner but he's he's he even advising it he wouldn't recommend your wife making more money than you and he had bad experience and that is what i want to point out at least in this particular one just because his wife used it as a control mechanism she she chose the the what they did where they went on vacations when it was time to have sex she she basically was con the control freak in the relationship and it just should not be that way at all um it doesn't because seriously it really don't matter who's making the most money. It really does not matter. And I know that it's, you know, there's a difference in opinion, obviously. Um, I just feel that if you guys have a solid sit down conversation about what needs to happen, if all the money is coming into the household, is y'all money. That's the way that I feel about it. It's y'all money. It might be coming in different accounts or it might even be coming in different names as in your name and my name but it's our money so with that being said bruh sis <laughs> don't use you being the breadwinner I don't care which position you are in whether you are the male or female um, if you are the dominant quote unquote one in your relationship because that because you make more money you still should not make your partner feel some type of way feel shitty and 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 just 
feel like I have to compete with you because that's basically what he's saying. Yeah, she's making more money, but we only started having sex and basically I had a say in the relationship when I became a trial lawyer once again. He doesn't sound like he wants to be a trial lawyer. Again, he, this relationship sounds like the competition is definitely there when it's coming to the finances and that really can kill a relationship. So with that being said, let me give you guys some just some things to think about because we are actually in a different generation. We are in a different time. And because as I mentioned before, more women are getting their degrees, so we are getting more high power paying positions, a lot more women are making more money than the than the man in their life. And with that being said, we have to really really understand that the stereotypical roles that men and women have need to really just be gone away with because we're pretty much like the first, maybe the second, but I want to say the first generation where this is actually like becoming the normal. Like the woman is making more than a woman. It's becoming the norm. And um, with that being said, you have to remember that this is not your mom or your dad's relationship. So all of the things that you seen them doing when you grew up as far as the man making all of the money he's making most of the decisions etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, it, it, it's switching and because it's switching we have to now uh, uh, basically be, be the pioneers and uh, uh, figure out a way to work together and throw away the gender roles or the gender stereotypes that we had the, the next thing that you have to remember is that it is the workload and not the people or the players in it. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's talk about domestic work. Because even though we as women are still working more, we're bringing home more of the money, it's still unsaid rule in the household that when you get off of work, woman, that you will come home and do the domestic duties, that you will tend to the children, you will make the dinner, you will make sure that the kitchen is clean, the floor is swept, the um, laundry is done, etc. It's kind of an unwritten rule. It still is. And it's still, um, it's, it's still something that men have not gotten a hold of to say, let me make it easier on her, but also making it easier on us together because if I take some of the stress off of her guess what we can have sex sooner we can both relax together we can actually hold a freaking conversation together and where 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 one person is actually getting in the bed ready to have sex and the other person is getting in the bed so they can sleep so you two can be back on one accord the next tip that I could talk about is when you are doing the domestic chores don't even think about bringing up the money, honey. There's no reason for you to be talking about money when you're talking about chores. Or, I, I, I don't need to be doing this because I bring home the bacon. And those might not be the words that you use, but you get what I'm saying. Don't bring up money at all, at all, when you're doing any domestic uh, uh, chores. Another thing to think about is don't be making no huge purchases purchases by yourself like don't be going out buying cars boats airplanes or, or couches refrigerators anything that you could think of that's a big ticket item by yourself because you make the money it still needs to be a we see you making choices like you are a single person and you cannot do that in a relationship you can't make the other person feel worthless because you're making the money that is a sure way to get cheated on. That is a sure way to get left by yourself, all by yourself, getting cuddled by that couch, by that car, by that refrigerator. All because you wanted to be the man. All because you wanted to be the woman. And you needed to show your partner that you could do whatever you want to do because you can make the money. You can do it if you want to. You're going to be all by yourself. Like, I ain't trying to throw him under the bus, but I just watched his special. I mean, it's been a few months, but Chris Rock, he was talking about this in his um, Netflix special that he has. I can't even think of the title of the show, but it doesn't matter. He was talking about his divorce, and he basically just felt like he could do what he wanted to do because he brought home the bacon, only to be divorced. And now he's just like, that was the stupidest shit I've ever done in my life. 
and now he's paying the price for that. So you can you can do whatever you want to do. There's nothing I can do to stop you at all. But I can keep myself dignity. I can keep myself worth and let your little stanky butt be by yourself. And now he's paying all his money in child support, alimony. That's a different story. I'm just saying, you can do that if you want to. You're going to end up like somebody else. In this case, I mentioned Chris Rock. But you're going to end up like somebody like him who think they want to do, who think that they can do whatever they want to do because they bring home the money. It don't work like that, boo. It don't work like that. The next tip that I want to bring and, and have you understand is that you just keep having conversations regarding money. You have to talk about it, even though it could be a very sensitive situation to your partner. You have to keep having or trying to have these conversations just to let down the barrier so you both can be on the same page. So, you, so you're not trying to catch up with each other or compete with each other because you're not going to have a healthy relationship if you, if you are trying to compete with your spouse in anything, but especially with money. The last thing to think about is to just get some help if you need to get some help. Go lie on somebody's couch. Go talk to somebody that you can trust about your money, the way that you are feeling about it, and why you have these feelings about your partner making more than you. Or if your partner is making less than you, why are you feeling these ways that you are feeling? And why are you expressing yourself the way that you are expressing yourself especially if it is in a derogatory manner like the second example the second um, um, story that I read to you you should not be doing that all right, family, that is all that I have for you today in this particular video. I want to thank you guys for coming out and hanging out with your girl. As I mentioned before, definitely go ahead and check out my online courses. If you have not checked them out as of yet, they will absolutely help you out no matter which stage of dating you are absolutely in. If this is your very first time here, definitely go ahead and hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me, 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 I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can decrease that divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I will see you in a future video. Okay? Deuces.